Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing my January rankings from worst to best of all of the new palettes that I tried in the month of January. So if you want to see what comes out on top, then just keep watching. Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I am a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And as always, I come back every month with all of the eyeshadow palettes that I tried and telling you truly what stood out to me because I try a lot of makeup. And I got a comment on my last rankings video about how I did it in the middle of the month. I always do it in the middle of the month so that I can really try out the palettes. Anyways, here we are, mid-February. I only tried 11 palettes. Palette. It was definitely a light month as far as makeup releases, so I didn't try too many, but um, 11 is still a lot, I suppose, right? <laughs> so we're going to start off with number 11, and this is the Flower Beauty Petal Play Shadow Quad, and this is in the shade Berry More. Now, I got a very wonderful package from Flower Beauty, and Flower Beauty is definitely one of my favorite drugstore makeup brands, and this palette was very, very nice for the price. I just, I tried a lot of really good palettes this month. So just in the scheme of that, this fell at number 11, but it's still not a bad palette. I don't like the mattes though. I will say that the mattes kind of blend away as drugstore shadows typically do. So this does behave in a drugstore eyeshadow kind of way, but the shimmers right here, these two are very, very pretty, but it's just not a palette that I've been tempted to reach for after I tried it for the first time. So number 10, we have the Ofra Cosmetics Good To Go palette. Now this isn't all eyeshadows. You can see it's a mixed palette, but I'm just going to refer it as an eyeshadow palette. And I actually use this in a live with you guys. And the palette was pretty, the looks were pretty, but Ofra's quality in general just isn't something to write home about, I found. This shade right here is absolutely stunning. Everything else was just kind of average, you know? There wasn't a shadow in here that oh, I was like, oh, this sucks. Absolutely not, but it did knock my socks off. So it's at number 10. Number nine, we have another quad from Flower Beauty. They sent me four. I only have tried two of the four so far, and I like this one better than the first one. So this is the shade in bloom, and I think why I like this one more is because there is not matte shades in here. I really do like the shimmer palette. This reminds me a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury, and as like a lid topper palette, or if you grab mattes from another palette and then pop these on top, you will not be disappointed. This one is really beautiful. So if you like light shiny pinky tones, I do recommend this. Again, it's not super great. I don't like that there's no mattes in here, but since I don't like the flower mattes, I'm okay with this being all shimmer. Moving on to number eight, this is not a new palette. A couple of months ago, Nabla Cosmetics sent me a very large PR package, and I've been slowly working through the eyeshadow palettes that they sent me. So last month, I dug into my new eyeshadow palette drawer, and I pulled out the Cutie palette. And I had to try it out because it has these stunning, glittery, shiny, cool tones. And this palette is beautiful. There's one shade in here, Gem System, which I'm not a big fan of. It feels a little bit grainy to me, and it's just not the finish that I like, and it's not as smooth and creamy as I normally would like, but everything else in here is really great. I don't think the mattes are the greatest in here. I do find them a little bit more difficult to blend, but overall, it is a gorgeous palette. I loved the looks that I was able to get with this palette. It's just not perfect, but it still is a beautiful palette if you're into this color story. The colors are super glittery, super shiny, which is what I'm really, really into, so it's very, very nice, but I do think that they have better palettes in their line. Number seven, this is the Beauty by Stoney Remedy Cocoa palette. So this is the second palette that this brand has come out with. And I have to say I was very impressed. Now the first time that I tried a palette from Beauty by Stoney, I loved the quality. The quality was very nice, especially for the price, but I didn't like the color story. So they came out with this one recently and I like the color story a lot more. It's not my favorite color story. It doesn't necessarily inspire me like some other items eyeshadow palettes that you'll see do, but it's an easy to grab for palette and you do have other options to kind of mix the looks up. I'm going to show you a photo of a look that I created with this palette. <laughs> really beautiful, very nice quality. I do recommend this if you are interested in the color story and I think this is going to be beautiful on deeper complexions. So I really enjoy this. Number six, we have the BH Cosmetics Lost in Los Angeles palette and I had intended on doing a review on this palette, but it came really well 
probably it took a few weeks to get to me but it is stunning so this is the eyeshadow palette that I am currently wearing so let me show you what I have on my eyes I put this shade on the crease and then I mixed in some of this in the crease as well to go with the pink blush that I had on I put Sunset Boulevard all over my lid and my lower lash line and it's the most gorgeous pinky gold shift. And then I tried to deepen things up a bit with the 405s, like in the outer corner. And then I used Malibu as my inner corner color. And if you're new to my channel, BH Cosmetics kills it in the category of eyeshadows for being such an affordable brand. It really boggles my mind. I always call myself an eyeshadow snob. I'm very picky. I can tell the differences between a luxury versus high end versus drugstore quality. And BH Cosmetics breaks those barriers for me. I think they have fabulous quality. Now the reason why this isn't number one is because it's a bit too pastel for me. So if you don't like pastel, really light eyes, you're not going to like this palette because I couldn't get any more depth with this palette and I wanted to for this specific look. And you guys love the mermaid look I did in my high-end makeup tag. It was using this palette as well. Really beautiful quality, really beautiful colors, but I did want a little bit more depth in that as well. So for me, that's what it's missing. It's not my favorite color story. What they would need to do is literally add like one more row right here of deeper tones and I would absolutely love this palette because it's an interesting color story and it does inspire me and it does cause me to have to think about a look and there's a lot of different directions that I can go but I'm always missing like one shade to add a little bit of depth so that's why this is there but it's still a very nice palette and I do recommend it if you are into a color story. Number five, we have a Charlotte Tilbury quad. This I tried like the first of <laughs> the first day of the year so the other one that released is in last month's ranking but this is the flawless eye filter luxury quad in diva lights and this isn't my favorite quality from charlotte tilbury but nonetheless it's still a beautiful quad i love the finish that charlotte tilbury's formula has on the eyes i really think it is very unique very refined so this isn't as good as her normal quality but it still is absolutely beautiful and it's a great wearable color story not unique in her line but you know at the end of the day you're gonna reach for these colors a lot so this is ranking at number five number four we have the other one that launched this is in the shade eyes of a star and this wasn't my favorite one at first I thought the color story to be exceptionally boring but I really like that monochromatic kind of eye that this gives I as you can see I love the look of a very simple monochromatic eye and this gives me that in a deeper kind of taupey brown tone which I really like and I've ended up using this quite a few times and I didn't expect to like it as much as I did but I really do it's just very easy to grab for but I said this in my review of those two quads that while these are nice I would look towards other Charlotte Tilbury quads because I feel like she does have a better formula and better color stories in her line so I still like these but they are quite pricey so I do recommend if you're thinking about getting into Charlotte Tilbury to look towards some of the other ones moving on to number three this was a shock to me. This is the Dior Pink Sakura Quint. So you get five shades of purple. I had to have this. Purple is one of my favorite eyeshadow shades and I wanted to see how Dior would do with their formula and this creates a very sophisticated purple eye. Now if you're into very pigmented, bright kind of looks, you're not gonna get that with this quad. It is a wearable, very, how should I say, very sophisticated take on purple and I think it's really beautiful. The purple is very very easy to apply and I really have enjoyed this palette and I've only used it twice I do want to use it more but as you guys know I just try so much I have so little time but this is a quint that I do recommend if you're gonna look into Dior if you're into purple it makes me feel very happy number two Ooh, this one is a good one. So this is from Natasha Denona. She came out with her Valentine's Day collection in January. And this is the mini love palette. I think these are a great deal. And the colors in here are super pretty. I was just talking about how much I love purples. Well, guess what? This has some very purpley mauvey tones and I really enjoyed the quality on this. Very, very good. It's very well priced. And for this time of year, I love these kinds of colors. I mean, all year, I love these kinds of colors, but I think she did a really great job with this. You know, the dark plum shade blends really well and it's that perfect depth that I'm looking for that I felt like the BH was missing. And you have gorgeous, these are more traditional tones right here, but this shade is also something that's a little bit more different. So I've been enjoying 
enjoying this a lot and even though there's only five shades I am inspired to create a few different looks I do think you still have some options here all right moving into number one this one might surprise you I haven't done a full video using this palette a tutorial or anything it's a palette that I've been wearing behind the scenes. I've worn it a couple times in a couple different videos and you guys have noticed that I finally got to dig into the BH Cosmetics Naughty Palette. This was one of their two holiday palettes and it got a lot of praise and so I finally purchased it. I purchased it at full price but if I'm not mistaken unless it's sold out this is available on BH Cosmetics website for $10. It's a steal. I'm sorry, but this palette is amazing. I mean, it's my number one. You get so many different colors here, so many options, and I haven't had a single problem with any color in here. Again, BH Cosmetics, they break those barriers between high-end luxury quality. They really kill it, some of the best value. So blendable, the shimmers are so pretty, and like I said, I've done a couple looks, and you guys have noticed, and you really love the looks, and they were with this palette, and I love it. If you are interested in picking it up, please do. It's very, very affordable right now if it's still available. So many directions you can go with this look, and I'm more so impressed than anything with this palette. You know, I still think, like, the Natasha Denona and the Dior are better quality but the price is just unbeatable the options of colors you get are unbeatable and this has been such a fun palette to play with the past month and a half I wish this was a permanent palette because I feel like this is a palette that I would put into my regular rotation and regular recommendations for you guys so please go pick it up if you know you don't need it but it's really good <laughs> Anyways, you guys, that is all I have for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what some of the favorite palettes you tried are recently. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.